What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to lace a Profile Racing Elite Hub to a Sun Ringle Big Baller Rim. Um, the first thing you want to do is turn your rim so that you can see the valve stem hole. And that's this hole right here. You'll note that the spoke holes on the rim are staggered. So this one is higher than this one. Then this one is higher than this one. What that means is this higher spoke hole is going to go to the top section of the hub here and then the lower section will go to the lower spoke holes. To demonstrate that I'll go ahead and feed a spoke through any hole. Um, since you're, you're just starting out it doesn't matter which hole you choose. But here since I have this part of the hub faced up I'm going to feed it through the higher uh, hole on the rim which is just to the left of the valve stem hole and I'll go ahead and uh, connect the nipple and so that's that that's your first spoke so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your second spoke and you're going to feed it through the second hole away from the first spoke. So one, two. We're gonna drop a spoke through here. Make sure you can see that. Okay. And then you're gonna go on the rim and you're gonna count over to the right. One, two, three, four. And put your second spoke through the fourth hole on the rim. Okay. Go ahead and tighten that. And then you're gonna do the same thing all the way around. So every fourth hole on the rim and every second hole on the hub. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now you're gonna look down the hub. I'm gonna try to do this with the camera. So basically you need to look through the holes on the hub and you need to find the spoke hole, which is this one. It's gonna be just to the right of this spoke. So let's go ahead and zoom in and focus. You can see that this hole right there is just to the right of this spoke this is the spoke hole that we're going to drop the uh the drive side spoke through so let me adjust the camera and we'll go ahead and drop that in and now um by the way, you're gonna twist the hub. See where the valve is? Right here. Uh, you're gonna twist it away from the valve. Okay, so away from the valve. Go ahead and feed the spoke through and tighten it up. And then just do the same thing that you did on the non-drive side to the drive side and go all the way around. So this one is going to go just to the right of this spoke. And just go all the way around and do the same thing. Um, you can see I messed up. I was paying attention to the camera and not what I was doing. I put this nipple, I mean the spoke in the wrong hole. Should be in this hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. Something else I should mention is when running down the spokes, you have these threads on them, right? 
You don't want to run them all the way down past those threads yet. I don't really put more than a few twists on. Maybe four or five twists and that's it. And that's really going to help you when you go to true the wheel later. So. Like I said earlier, we're going to twist the hub away from the valve stem hole. Instead of dropping our spokes through, we're going to be pulling them through. So just choose a hole and pull a spoke through. And now we're going to go over one, two, and then under the third spoke on the non-drive side. So over, over, and then under. And then you just go into the next spoke hole that would be on this side, on this side of the hub to rim. Go ahead and put that in and then put the nipple on. And you're gonna do that all the way around. So, pull it through. Over, over, under. And sometimes you have to give it a little bend to the spoke to get it under, but that's okay. It's not gonna damage it. And it's a lot easier to do this when you don't have a tripod in your way, but I have a tripod in the way, so. Pull it through. Over, over, under. This Okay, so that side's done. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over to the drive side and do the same exact thing. Uh, we're gonna pull it through, right? Any spoke hole, any spoke hole. This is the easiest one to do. You can't mess up. It's the same thing, over, over, under. So, bend it a little. And you only have one hole to go into, so. You cannot mess this up. So you twist away from the valve stem so that you have this nice gap right here through the spokes. And that gap will allow you to get uh, your air compressor or your air pump in this little space versus trying to fit it in this little space, you know? It, it's gonna be much easier to fit your valve pump, your uh, your air pump in right here. So I did end up running out of space as soon as I put that last spoke on. Um, but that's it. Um, this is a Profile Racing Elite Hub laced to a Sunringle Big Baller Rim. Um, I'm using Deco 184 uh, spokes, Deco BMX. And 
So now all I gotta do is take it to my local bike shop, get it trued, and I'll be good to go.